Hey Pug and Poem. Alright everybody, this is a video I'm making to show off these um, old Deathwing Terminators. Uh, I believe these are the actual original, I guess they call them prints, or casts of the Deathwings. Um, the bases here, a uh, majority of them, Sorry, I'm going to shake my camera. Come on, focus. I've had you do it before. Of course, it doesn't want to do it now. Oh, there we go. 92. Just with a lot of the bases I got. Um, say, this one is an oddball base. And you see the numbers and lettering are really thin on that one compared to this other one. Cooperate, which is thick. I have another one that says 91 on one of these guys. So I'm not 100% positive. Yeah, here we go. Not really 100% positive when these guys came out but these are the bases that they came with uh, only two which are these two came off their bases when I super cleaned them so all the paint everything's been removed and as you can see they're in really good condition all the mold lines have been removed from the miniatures and the bases any of the stuff that should be removed has been removed as well I have the bases for the two guys, and that's just some dried up super glue. It's not even going to make a difference when it comes time to primer and, and paint. It's going to be in, no issue. Um, this guy here, if you notice, is the only one that has stuff on both legs. Everybody else only has it on their uh, lift leg. Like this gentleman here but he's the only one that has very ornate left leg and right leg um, imagery or whatever it's supposed to be and he's got some scroll or um, great my brain went blank that's besides the point these are very well detailed for how well old they are Miniatures. Come on, camera focus. There we go. I have everything that these guys came with when I bought them new. It's all there. Only thing that might not be there that they might have came with is the um, standard. Um, bearer pull thing that would have gone on the back and that's just because I particularly didn't care for that and uh, I removed them and that's just right there is um, just from filing it clean prime it and you'll never notice it's just the way the light catches it arm pegs are perfectly fine. All the arms fell off uh, from the super clean. Yeah, where's Deathwing right there? I wonder if these have dates on the back. Oh yeah they do. 92. Let's see if we can get it on the camera to confirm what I'm telling you. I might not be able to get the camera to focus. I thought I almost had it. Maybe I need to stick my hand under. Come on. Oh, there we go. GW 1992. So that's more than likely when these bad boys hit the production line. This 
this guy's got an extra little thing on the top of his back, like some of the other guys. Come on. There's a good camera. And the sergeant. He's got a little skull on top of his head that the other guys don't. Oh, well, no, they do have it, don't they? Yep, they do. I almost became a liar. Well, some of them don't, actually. I think one guy doesn't have it. Two, two guys. So, back to his thing is a notch, which I believe is where the standard was supposed to go. But like I said, I didn't like those, so I removed them back uh, when I have got them, and I never kept it. So I don't have that uh, to give with these guys. Now, if anybody's curious of why I'm making this video for him, uh, I'm looking to trade these in for Wolfgarn. And he said he'd be interested if he liked to look at these guys. So I told him I'd make this video real quick. Showing off why they look. That's why I'm taking the time to show these minis off. Here's uh, the Storm Boulder. One of the guys. Come on, focus chain fists. Oh, these are, I guess, one of the uh, laser-guided systems for the cyclone missiles rack that I had that came with this set. It's, it's really why I actually got these miniatures at that time. So this is the only way to get that I knew of. The only way to get the uh, cyclone missiles. Now this here is like a little armor shield plate thing that comes, and this goes with the sergeant. Um, I want to say it goes on the shoulder pad or something. And it goes somewhere on them. Oh, and then all those other guys have that little nib thing here. And this guy doesn't. I believe that's just because he's the one that's actually supposed to get the cyclone missile pack and I know that did not come in clear because the camera did not focus so I apologize here's the uh, assault cannon I'm going to try to make this a shorter video by speeding it up there's another storm bolter and this comes with a uh, little feathering underneath. Not all of these are exactly the same. They have a little bit of, uh, you know, a little script paper and a wax knot or whatever you want to call it. They kind of change things up. I'm not doing a very good job of getting stuff focused, am I? I'm sorry. Let's show some stuff that has been shown. Just going a couple of storm bolters is really all that's needed. Here's here is the uh, heavy flamethrower. There we go. Uh, let's show the sergeant's sword. It wants to focus on it. There we go. Now there is one shoulder plaid. Some of the flashing is still there. I removed most of it, but it was kind of in the uh, Terminator shoulder stuff 
and uh, I didn't want to ruin it, especially if I was going to trade these in. So I left it to where whoever gets it is going to have to remove it, but it's super minor. Actually, here it is. Might not be able to see it. Uh, first, let's see if we can get into the camera. Come on, focus. You almost had it. Focus. There it is. So you can see right here by that little bone, little flash sticks up there and there. And like I said, I just didn't want to go fiddle around in there and then put it up for sale. And I actually missed a little bit of flash on the front part of that skull. That's yeah, not big. I can knock that off before I send it to you. Or I can leave it and you can remove it yourself. Uh, that's pretty much up to you. And where did I put the cyclone missiles? Aha. Sorry, I put everything off to the side so I wouldn't have to reach. And the cyclone missiles was two parts. And there's where the other part connects. Where's the top? Back. Bottom, and where it connects to the terminator. Side panel. Side panel, nothing fancy. The part that meets the other, that gets glued. Just smooth, nothing fancy there. Your actual rack, missile rack here. With the missiles and old school photography, and just, just all smooth. From there on out. Oh, Pagan Phone, let me know what you think. The storm bolters are the same thing, some with the feathers, some without. Um, regular hands are these, some of them have that. And actually, yeah, almost all of them have it, and there's one or two that doesn't have it. Everything's in good shape. Other than the one shoulder pad I showed you, which shouldn't be a big deal. Alright, buddy. Talk to you later.